Today's session is on codon anti codon interactions. It can be explained through verbal hypothesis. The objectives of this session are to discuss about codon anti codon interactions and Wobble's hypothesis, that is also we call Wobble hypothesis, that is Crick's proposal. How a particular codon in, in messenger RNA, codon in messenger RNA, messenger RNA, particular codon in messenger RNA is accomplished, codon messenger RNA, the sequence, sequence is accomplished by the anti-codon sequence, anti-codon sequence, so present in transfer RNA. That means how codon, anti-codon interaction is taking place so that ultimately the particular amino acid is picked up and translation can take place. Translation can take place. Okay. This is the question which comes to our mind. The binding of binding of transfer RNA anti-codon anti-codon present in transfer RNA does have to follow any rule follows any rule okay so yes the first one is the complementarity complementarity rule if one contains purine another one contains pyrimidine if pyrimidine is present opposite purine will be present the binding between codon and anti codon is anti parallel if the codon is 5 prime to 3 prime direction the anti codon direction will be the in anti parallel way that is also from the 5 prime to 3 prime so let me explain here the messenger rna the messenger rna codon how the codon is red the messenger rna how the codon is red it is red 5 prime to 3 prime what about in the transfer rna where anti codon is present that is also 5 prime to 3 prime but in anti parallel manner in anti parallel manner okay next aspect which we will be discussing it there are 64 codons okay in genetic code 64 codons are there 61 codons for amino acids three codons are stop codons okay out of this one that means literally when you talk about one codon is recognized by one anti codon there also shall be 64 anti codons anti codon 64 anti codons do we have such number of transfer rnas or do we require equal number of transfer rnas with anti codons it is not so when you talk about the prokaryotic system there are around 40 transfer rna which can take care take care of 61 codons okay then also, in the eukaryotic system, there are around 50 transfer RNAs. When you, talk, when you talk about the mitochondria, in the mitochondria, there are only 22 transfer RNAs are present, which can take care of mitochondrial genetic code. How it can be explained? More number of codons and less number of anticodons. So, that can be explained through Wobble hypothesis. Wobble hypothesis proposed by Crick. It is proposed by Crick. What is the mechanism of this Wobble hypothesis? The Wobble hypothesis explains that transfer RNA can recognize, the transfer RNA can recognize more than one codon, more than one codon. What does it mean? It means one transfer RNA is sufficient. 
So transfer a per number of codons. Transfer of can recognize more than one codon for a specific amino acid. For a specific amino acid. Specific amino acid. The mechanism of this hypothesis. The hypothesis explains transfer RNA can recognize more than one codon for a specific amino acid. Okay. How it can be explained? How it can be explained? Before talking about verbal hypothesis, we discuss about codon anti codon interactions. Codon anti codon interaction. Anti codon. Okay. Interaction. Okay. So, let me explain. Let me explain. Suppose when I say this is codon and this one is anti codon. One is codon, another one is anti codon. Codon, I will be writing always 5 prime to 3 prime. Here also in the anti parallel way, anti codon. So, here it is 5 prime to 3 prime. Okay. Then each codon will have three bases. Three bases. The base 1, 2, 3. Here from the 5 prime 1, 2, 3. Okay. This is the how the arrangement takes place. Then what I am concerned about this aspect. The how the arrangement between, between the bases of codon and anti codon. Let us first talk about the codon 1 and 2. Then opposite the basis of anti codon 3 and 2. Okay, 2 and 3. What is the arrangement between the codon basis of codon 1 and 2 and anti codon 2 and 3? Okay, then, so here, when you talk about this one, this particular aspect between 1 and 2 and between 3 and 2, so there is no relaxation. What does it mean? There is no relaxation. What does it mean? If adenine is there, in codon and in anti codon, uracil will be there at the first position and third position. At the second position of codon, if cytosine is there, second position of anti codon, guanine will be there. Okay, so no relaxation in this base pairing. Base pairing. Okay, so there is no flexibility, there is no relaxation pairing between okay, codon and anti codon codon and anti codon that means what it tells us the watson and crick's base pairing rule has to be strictly followed what does it mean so pairing of bases between pairing of bases so strictly as per watson and as per watson and crick base pairing rule watson and crick base pairing rule. So, there is no relaxation pairing rule. Okay. So, that is about this first and second of the codon, third and second of the anti codon. Then what is left? It is left. It We have in this one, here we say this aspect, the first base of the anti codon, third base of the codon. First base of the anti codon, third base of the codon, third base of the codon. Okay. So, here we can say what about this aspect? What about the arrangement? So, we say what about third base of codon, okay, and first base of anti codon, first base of anti codon. Okay. So, here they say some relaxation can be given. Relaxation, okay, and our flexibility is there. Flexibility is shown. Relaxation or flexibility is available or shown is available, okay, or shown. This is, can be explained through verbal hypothesis. This verbal hypothesis, because of this bubbling, what happens? It facilitates, facilitates, what it facilitates? It facilitates, okay, then one transfer RNA, anti codon of one transfer RNA can, can identify more than, identify more than one codon, 
identify more than one quora. Okay, more than one quora. That is the reason. 64 quorans we have in prokaryotes, that 40 transfer RNAs, eukaryotes, around 50 transfer RNAs, in mitochondria, around 22 transfer RNAs that can fulfill in the translation process, in the identification of amino acids. There is no requirement of 64 transfer RNAs to take care of 61 the corons for amino acids. Of course, there are three stop corons. Wobbles, wobbling, wobble hypothesis explains this aspect. One transfer RNA anticoron can identify more than one corons. How it can be explained? It can be explained first. What is the traditional base arrangement? Traditional base arrangement between what? Traditional base arrangement between what? It is between the anticodon and codon. Let us see the transfer RNA. Transfer RNA that is either two or three position. The messenger RNA here it is one or second position. Then let us see here. This is the one which I have. This is the center point. Transfer RNA and messenger RNA. So, what we have here is the second and third position. Here, the second and third position, what we have here? Let us see here if messenger RNA, first or second position, if U is there, in the transfer RNA, A will be there as far as the traditional arrangement is concerned. Let me write for all the these basis arrangement. All the purines and pyrimidines. If it is cytosine here, it will be guanine will be present here. Okay, then this is I am talking about the first and second position of codon, second and third position of the anti codon. As where I said, so there is no relaxation. Watson and Crick base pairing rule has to be followed without any fail. Okay, so here, so I have written the basis. In the basis, when I go back, if it is uracil in the first and second position of the codon, there must be, so here, adenine will be there. Like if it is cytosine, guanine. If it is adenine, here, uracil. And if it is guanine, then cytosine. So, Watson and Crick base pairing rule has to be followed. So, there is no wobbling. Wobble hypothesis doesn't apply here. Then let us talk about the transfer RNA. That is, what is that position? The first position of the transfer RNA, the messenger RNA, messenger RNA, third position. Third position, here we can again draw the, this one, what will be the arrangement? The arrangement with the various bases. First position of the transfer RNA and third position of the codon messenger RNA. Okay, so there are various the arrangement is present. Scenario I am writing here. What happens here? So, this is the first position, the anti codon, third position of the codon. If here U, then A will be the one opposite in the transfer RNA, anti codon. If it is G, and here it is C, there is no difference here between codon and anti codon, this type of arrangement. Now, let us see in the Messenger RNA, either in the third place A or G is there, then transfer RNA with the pyrimidine U that can identify both the codons. Here it is U and C is there. Transfer RNA with the G can identify both the codons. Line, there is unusual base, not a traditional base. That is, we call it inosin. Inosin. Okay. Then, here, if messenger RNA, A is there, U is there, C is there, then three codons which it can identify. That means a lot of relaxation is there at the third base of the codon, first base of the anti codon. That is the, how the wobble hypothesis explains. This we call it wobble base. We call it wobble base. Okay, so the wobble base 
of the anti Quran, verbal base of the anti Quran determines determines okay the number of Qurans that a transfer RNA can identify that a transfer RNA can recognize can recognize okay so that is the what we say so verbal base of the anti Quran determines the number of Quran that transfer RNA can recognize this we can take it in a question form simply I say to make to make it our concept clear now I will explain how a verbal base how a verbal base of the anti Quran determines the number of Quran okay Qurans that a transfer RNA can recognize this is the question in front of us three scenarios are present here that is the first one is one Quran one Quran recognized that means so there is one anti Quran and one Quran let us see what it says us anti Quran here I am writing Quran I am writing here okay here anti Quran 3 prime x y okay then Quran 5 prime y x traditional arrangement okay C if it is C at the 5 position then then G at the 3 position G at the 3 position see the arrangement here the traditional arrangement one Quran and one anti Quran these are one scenario same thing here there is another permutation is there that is you say anti Quran and okay Quran Quran arrangement then again 3 prime and 5 prime then x y then y x then if it is a here it is u here okay traditional arrangement one anti Quran and one Quran okay so like this then the two Quran's recognized in the next scenario two Quran's are recognized two Quran's recognized recognized two Quran's are recognized then what it is how it can be explained you can say here anti Quran here anti Quran and again I write the Quran then again 3 prime x y 5 prime y x okay then here if it is u where wobbling we are talking about the wobble aspect a if it is a or g is there that means this anti Quran with the u can recognize two Qurans okay like two Qurans of the phenyl alanine can be recognized by one, one anti Quran of one transfer RNA then again the another permutation here it is there here it is there x y then y x y x okay then here it is the g is there then here it is c u c u okay so like that like that again we have this arrangement so that means with this one bubble okay base so two quarons can be recognized let us see the third one the third one three quarons recognized three quarons recognized okay three quarons recognized so how it is how can be explained here i have the anti quran here anti quran and here quran anti quran and quran here 3 prime x y 5 prime y x here i have the verbal base i know then here i can have a u c with the anti quran contains i know it can recognize three quarons. So that means when you have the serine amino acid, serine amino acid, serine uh, quran for the serine amino acid, there are six quarons are there. That means the six quarons can be identified by two transfer RNAs with the anti quarons. So only up to three quarons, one single transfer RNA can identify, not more than that, not the four quarons. One transfer RNA can identify these three Qurans, anti Quran. So, as I said, Sarain has, Sarain has six Qurans, six Qurans. So, how many transfer RNAs are required? Two transfer RNAs. Two transfer RNAs. 
Okay, then like phenyl alanine. So there are phenyl alanine. There are two codons. Two codons. So one transfer RNA can serve the purpose. One transfer RNA. Now I will discuss about the. I will summarize. I will summarize what we have studied so far. So today's session is codon anti codon interactions, and I said bubble hypothesis. Two objectives we have set. Codon anti codon interaction and bubble hypothesis. It is Crick's proposal. Okay. So the question is how a particular codon in messenger RNA sequence is accomplished by anti codon sequence of the RNA. So okay, binding of transfer RNA anti codon follows any rules? Yes, two rules are to be followed. One is complementarity. The second one is anti parallel nature. When you see to understand messenger RNA, codon is red, 5 prime to 3 prime, transfer RNA anti codon, again 5 prime to 3 prime, but in anti parallel way. So there are 64 codons are there. 61, this one, the, for the amino acids, three stop codons. Do you require 64 anti codons, 64 transfer RNAs? No. Okay. So there are only 40 transfer RNAs in prokaryotic system. Prokaryotic, okay. Prokaryotic system and 50 transfer RNAs in eukaryotic system. Eukaryotic system. Okay. The prokaryotic system and eukaryotic system. Mitochondria, there are only 20 transfer RNAs. So it can be only explained through the bubble hypothesis. Bubble hypothesis explains the transfer RNA can recognize more than one codon or a specific amino acid. In this session, First, we have tried to understand how the codon, anti-codon interactions they take place. After that, we took up the bubble hypothesis. Codon 5 prime to 3 prime, 1 to 3 basis, and anti-codon, we again 5 prime to 3 prime, that is anti-parallel here 1 to 3. So what I said in the codon, the first and second base, here anti-codon, second and third base, there is no relaxation. In this base pairing between codon and anticodon, codon and anticodon, there is no relaxation, and the pairing of the bases strictly as per Watson and Crick base pairing rule. Base pairing rule. Okay, then what about the I we questioned that one? What about the third base of the codon and first base of the anticodon? There is some sort of relaxation is there, flexibility is available, okay, or shown. So, this can be explained through bubble hypothesis. Okay, bubble hypothesis facilitates one transfer RNA can identify more than one codon. So, to understand that one, we have to be discussed about traditional base arrangement and also bubble base arrangement. The traditional base arrangement in the transfer RNA, second and third base, in the messenger RNA, first and second. So, in the messenger RNA, U is present, in the transfer RNA, A will be there. In the messenger RNA, C is there. In the transfer RNA, G will be there. In the messenger RNA, A is there. In the transfer RNA, anticodon U will be there. Then in the messenger RNA, G is there. In the transfer RNA, anticodon C will be there. So now we talk about the bubble hypothesis, how this arrangement takes place as for the bubble hypothesis. Messenger RNA contains U. Then of course, A is automatically will be there. If it is G and C will be there. Apart from that one, how the one transfer RNA can identify more than one codon. Here you can see if messenger RNA A or G is there, transfer RNA anticodon at the first base, first position, if U is there, that will serve the purpose. So one transfer RNA can identify two codons, can recognize two codons. Same thing is also here. Then let us see the third one, having I know same unusual base. Okay, so here it can recognize three codons with the A, U, C, okay, at the third position. So, the now we have to take an example, how it takes place, how bubble base of the anti-codon determines the number of codons, number of codons that this particular anti-codon recognizes it. So, there are three permutations, three permutations are there, one codon recognized, so here we have seen one codon recognized. There are two such things are there. If it is C is there in anticodon, G will be there. In anticodon, A is there, U will be there. If anticodon 
contains u okay at the first position if the codon at the third position a or g are there then so two codons it can recognize here also it is like that so three codons recognize the anti codon if inosine is there it will be able to recognize three codons so like that serine has six codons and two transfer rnas can be sufficient phenylalanine two codons one transfer rna can be sufficient that is another issue whether all the codons are equally used or anti anti codon and codons transfer rnas are equally used it is not like that there is some codon bias is there this is about bubble hypothesis and codon anti codon interactions in the next session we will study various requirements for the translation followed by the initiation elongation and termination of the translation process thank you thank you very much